Okay, so I understand eye tracking is widely used in marketing, as you explained. So when I go to like a fast restaurant, I guess that may be the menu and I'm looking at that, they optimize that with eye tracking or when we watch commercials on TV, perhaps some of them were also optimized with eye tracking to see where perhaps. we look as Yes, and uh, Google search as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. That's very interesting. Uh, so this seems to be a powerful tool, uh, eye tracking. Uh, why is it used to research subtitling in particular? So we use uh, eye tracking to verify some uh, long standing uh, assumptions that we uh, that we've had of how viewers engage um, with uh, subtitle videos. Right. Uh, so you can uh, test, uh, for instance, how different uh, people, different types of uh, participants uh, watch uh, subtitled videos. And in particular, we're interested in how people read um, uh, subtitles. Uh, I'm not sure if everybody is aware of the fact that um, when uh, we are reading, we are not focusing on every single word that is uh, out there, but our eyes um, make uh, those tiny jumps called uh, saccades uh, from one place to another. And the moments when uh, our eyes are relatively still uh, they are called fixation so we are fixating uh, something and uh, when reading we uh, don't fixate every uh, single word but we tend to skip some words some words that are shorter some words that are um, very common uh, we call them uh, high frequency words and we tend to focus on words that are uh, longer and that are less common they are called low frequency uh, words. So um, in uh, in eye tracking research, we uh, look into fixations and saccades. We look into how people read subtitles and how they are interacting also. Uh, so how much time, for instance, they are spending on the uh, subtitles and whether they have time to uh, look at the images as well. Um, an example of this type of research would be how subtitle reading speed impacts on the time that people have um, to both read the subtitle and to look at the image.